Are you tired of seeing your restaurant's potential profits th through the cracks? Whether it's disappearing into thin air through inefficiencies or getting devoured by high costs, it's time to take control. Welcome to this four-part transformative video series designed for restaurant owners like you who are ready to see success. Each episode will unveil the hidden pitfalls in your operation and provide you with the tools to creating a thriving, profitable restaurant. From mastering your food costs to enhancing accountability, I'm here to guide you through the concrete steps towards achieving financial freedom you deserve. Let's dive into the essential of restaurant prosperity together. This is part three. Hey there, Restaurant Pro. This is Dave Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coach, and creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. Today, we're diving deep into one of the keystones of restaurant profitability, food costs. Understanding and managing your food costs is not just crucial, it's absolutely essential if you want your restaurant to not just survive, but thrive. Now, there's a common misconception out there that cutting food costs means you have to compromise on quality. Let me tell you, that couldn't be further from the truth. Today, I'm going to show you how smart management of food costs can actually enhance your offerings and improve your bottom line. First things first, let's talk about how to calculate food cost percentage. It's pretty straightforward. It's your beginning inventory plus your purchases minus your ending inventory to give you use. Use is the actual dollar value of the product that's no longer on the shelves. Next, you take use, that use you just calculated, and divide it into your gross food sales to give you your food cost percentage. At the recipe level, you take the cost of your ingredients created with a recipe costing card and divide that by the revenue those ingredients generate. What you get is a percentage that th shows you just how much of your revenue is being spent on ingredients. Keeping a sharp eye on your food costs and recipe costs is the first step to better profitability. By the way, if your food cost is too high, you simply won't make the money you deserve. Many restaurateurs fall into some typical traps. For example, overpurchasing can lead to waste while underpurchasing might mean you can't serve your menu star items. In the kitchen, improper portion control and inconsistent preparation methods can inflate your cost dramatically. And let's not forget about menu pricing. Mispricing dishes can eat into your margins. Now, how do we tackle these issues? Negotiate with your suppliers. Well, that's kind of a key strategy. Don't be afraid to shop around once a year for the best prime vendor agreement you can find. Also, think about adding a GPO, a group purchasing organization, to your toolbox. This allows you to earn on all the standard purchasing you do already. On the kitchen level, utilizing seasonal ingredients is another smart move. They're not only cheaper, but they're also at their peak flavor. Lastly, let's talk about menu engineering. This involves analyzing the profitability and popularity of dishes and adjusting your menu accordingly. It's about creating a menu that both delights your customers and aligns with your financial goals. Do know the only way you can re-engineer your menu for maximum profit is having accurate, up-to-date recipe costing cards. Remember, Managing food costs isn't a set it and forget it task. It requires your ongoing attention and adjustment. By taking control of your food costs, you're not just saving money, you're setting your restaurant up for success. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll tackle another big challenge, dealing with in inconsistent profits. You won't wanna miss it as we uncover more strategies to boost your restaurant's financial health. Be sure to join me live every Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time on YouTube, travel schedule permitting, where I'll get you pumped about the upcoming weekend, get you excited about crushing your goals and finding the motivation to be best you possible. Plus, I'll answer your burning questions live.